Shalom, 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 Shabbat blessings. We've been talking about some things for a while and a very long time that they were still in souls and people consciousness through religion, science, entertainment, technology, so on. Today you're going to learn about holosonic avatars, ESS, electronic sound synthesis. Now, back in the day, whether it was the most high or an alter ego opposing force, there was something called the appearance of a man or the appearance of what looked like a man, etc. in the Old Testament and all your etymologies. A man like something, something passing information which we called pixel image of an avatar, people paid attention at what their mind saw instead of lock holding tight to the information that was being given to them as understanding. Now, in these days and times, we are in a very tricky, deceptive, illusional world. And 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 taught us to be aware of Satan's evil devices. Who is Satan? It's not some wing bing ghost story that we have been taught. That's the mythological mythology. It's everything that has been given to us in the form of education, in the form of religion, in the form of music, sound, sight, it's all a joke and a hoax. So take my word for it. Let's see it for ourselves. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse number 11. Lest Hashatan or Satan, which is the self, should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's technology. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach the Christ gospel, a door, which is a portal in the in the heavens, not actually, let me put a key into the door, but a portal was open unto me of who? The most high, the Lord. I had no rest in my spirit because I found night Titus. The book, book of Proverbs say a man's sleep is messed up, something on his mind, he's troubled. But taking my leave of them, I went to thence to Macedonia. Now, thanks be unto Yah, which always causes us to triumph in Christ or the Mashiach and maketh manifest the savior of his knowledge by us every place. For we are unto God or Yah, a sweet savior of Mashiach and them that are saved and in them that perish. See, that's a duality. To the one, we are the savior of death unto death and to the other, the savior of life unto life and who is sufficient for these things for we are not as many which corrupt the word of yah but as with sincerity but as of yah in the sight of god speak we in side of the spirit of the messiah what is this that they were telling us science is observation that's all science is you see something and you calculate something in your mind and you come up with an answer. That's how it goes. But because of light rays of intelligence that beams and shape shift into our neuronic system and show us pixel images and give us information, we focus on avatars such as Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, them the righteous ones, right? Then you got across the world, Osiris, uh, Horus, and all that, Ashra, all this. You know what I'm saying? Krishna, you know, Santa Claus. See, all these things are pixel images of information. It, it's the information that you project an action within a reaction, within an action, action in yourself called inner thought that you project those thoughts outside of you is the reaction. So we call that spirit mind and the flesh. And so the scriptures have been telling us about technology that trap souls. That's what we're talking about, right? 
I know it sounds out there, but we have been given lies. We have been told false prophecies and all that stuff that, you know, your heart already knows because you was taught these things by the scripture. But we are in 2022. God said that my word is already in people's heart. Now, let's go back to Abraham. Let's test Yeshua's words. You see, you take what the man said and you go in the Old Testament and you see if he's a liar. Well, let's see. Abraham didn't have a book, writings, but he went outside and he looked at the cosmology of nature. He looked at the sun, the moon, the stars, the book of Joshua, book of Jubilees, which is not in your Grecian of the world, Vatican, uh, King James Bible, but you can get these books for free. But it's even in your 66 books of the King James where, you know, what I'm saying is true. Abraham said, none up there can be God. Then you heard a voice said that I am that I am. If you listen to me, I will give you a nation spiritually, not actually physically. Physically is the manifestation of what that spirit was really talking about as the promise. So now that we understand that, we see that. There are no books. There were no man to teach another man. Didn't say man taught Abraham or Abraham father taught him that. And it didn't say nothing like that. I don't care if you was a, a Kemet. I don't care if you was an Arab. I don't care if you was a Christian. I don't care if you was the English guy. All your books. Y'all understand no man taught Abraham. So what we running around here doing? <gasps> I got to go to another man for a degree just to minister. You already off track. But, hey, don't listen to me. I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just saying if your shoe fits the category, change it. That's all you got to do. When your foot get grow, you don't cry. You go out and go get another one, right? So if you see that your knowledge or your, you know, uh, faith, uh, what you thought, actually have served you nothing but troubles, then actually it's time to change, isn't it? All right, so let's get this understanding that Abraham didn't get taught by nothing but the spirit. And he is called the father of the very faith that we are walking in. And we had to see Christ and all of that. Woo -de -woo. And now we have this Holy Spirit that was hidden from the old people. Apparently it wasn't ancient people. When I say old people, I mean like the Old Testament. Apparently it wasn't. But, you know, that's what they say. But how can they be examples of what the heck we supposed to be doing with the Holy Spirit if that information that they have taught us is actually accurate. How can the Holy Spirit and Christ be hidden? They don't know, but yet I keep hearing them say, oh, Messiah's coming, or oh, somebody's coming to save us. Now, the name they might not have been able to call out, but the actions, hey, man, it's, the actions speak louder than words. That's what they say, man. So if we living by what we speak, uh, shouldn't be no confusion in 2022, right? What What's trapping souls? We got the Akashic Records. I asked y'all to look up the whole day missing by scientific knowledge. And the scientist is going to tell you the only story in the world that explains what happened in the stars is the Book of Kings when Hezekiah asked for extra life and sun went back 10 degrees. And then when Moses had to hold his rod up for almost, <laughs> it says almost. Almost a full day. A full day and almost a full day ain't the same thing. So it comes up to 23 hours and 40 minutes that Moses hold up his rod. And, 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 and in the mythology book, they say they were dark for a whole day. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, we don't know what happened. The sun never came out for a day. Well, it was over there where God told Moses to hold up his rod. The sun ain't going to move. Checkmate. So... Uh, if you don't read the mythology story, how you going to know your story stand? You got to know your enemy, right? How you go to war with somebody and you don't know what your enemy can do? Huh? That's stupid. That's a stupid leader. Uh, it, we don't even play sports like that. We study the other team and all of that. Definitely when, when, it, when it's uh, time for championship, we just don't go run out there just because we know the stats of the other team. No, we need to know how y'all run y'all plays. We need to see who you give the man to go ball to. See what I'm saying? Basketball, football, it don't matter. Y'all got to go to man. Stop him. What y'all going to do? <laughs> so, you, I mean, you use these knowledge in the streets. If you knock out the kingpin, 
the followers of the kingpin ain't gonna do nothing to you. So I mean, you say these things, but it comes from the scriptures, you see? So let's get down to business here. So I will tear down the wall, which you have plastered with whitewash and bring it down to the ground so that the foundations will be exposed. Foundations of the earth now, we talking about cosmology. Don't focus on the wall that was built by it. We ain't talking about that stupid stuff. It's gonna be burnt up, man. Will be exposed when it falls. You will perish in the mist. I want you to understand who he's talking to now. If the spirit is a worship God in spirit and truth, all right? If the spirit say, Israel, I'm gonna punch you in your face. That's not physical Israel over there in Africa. No, that's everybody on the land of the earth that's going to go into the spirit realm of God or supposed to, and your name might've got blotted out. I mean, it all depends on the situation and what what time and God that he's speaking of. So we, that's what we gotta find out. And you shall know and understand fully that I am the Lord. Do you think that a blowing up of a physical wall we would say, oh, that was God. You're going to say, oh, that was Russia over there showing off bombs and stuff like we do today. Who is the mastermind that made the leader of Russia go over there and do what he do? Some fool going to say the devil, but the devil don't exist. Remember? Remember? Satan and his evil de devices. The watchers taught mankind how to make tools of killing folks and stuff like that and torture it. Tell you that in Genesis 5 and 6. Come on, stop it, man. Thus I will expand. The watcher was you. They taught you with some freaking angel. God never cared about an angel. Angels was made for you as a man. See what I'm saying? So, you know, that's us in another dimension. And we forgot this knowledge. Thus I will expand my wrath on the wall and those who have plastered it, whitewashed. And I will say to you, the wall is gone. Like a veil, you know, like your mind's eye. This is what we're talking about. We're not really talking about physical. Come on, man. See, we confuse gods down here making rumors of wars and wars and all nation against nation. See, we are making this happen, but this ain't our story. The plasters are gone along with the false prophets of Israel. Now, the spirit just said the false prophets of Israel. Now, remember, when the spirit talking, it's talking about spirits. Okay. So, you know, everybody on the face of this earth got a spirit. So who is the Israel? That's the false prophets. That's what I get to. Who prophesied deceitfully to Jerusalem. Who is the world leaders? Huh? Who run running around saying God blessed us and nobody else? Uh, who make the rules around the land? Some confused folks going to say white folks, but there's not. <laughs> it's the one that says I'm a Jew and ain't. Know what the scriptures say, but hey, hey, I, like I said, I didn't point no flesh fingers. I just told you the actions. It ain't my fault that you know what nation running around here doing that. Now, I'm doing exactly what the scriptures say. Now, you see how we don't do race wars? Checkmate. Let's keep going. And who see false visions, peace for her, and there is no peace? Ah, oh, sooky, sooky now. Babylon. Now, you son of man. I'm sorry. USA. Set your face against the daughters of your people. Now stop. Y'all understand what the scripture just said? Because when bro Sanchez get the get the going and the spirit in them, you're going to have to be able to keep up because it's going to be a whoo, transformation. You're going to think we talking about computers and stuff when your world is a whole matrix system. Didn't God say, I computed data, put it into place, and at the exact moment of time that it's supposed to come out, it's going to design its purpose. Now, your Bible tell you that now. And many, many, many scriptures, Proverbs, Ephesians. Oh, God chose you before the foundations of the earth and all of that. The book of the laws. I mean, where you want to go with this? Pistols of Paul's and the spirit writings. All that. Yeah, Hebrews. They all tell you. So I don't have like, you know, this is some new information. Oh, because we've been told lies, right? Let's bust them up. So I say. Now, you son of man, set your face against the daughters of the people who are prophesying out of wishful thinking. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Wish upon a star. Tell you that bullshit birthday wishes. What the heck is that, man? I walk in faith empowerment. I speak the word and it going to manifest if I really got the spirit of God. That's not ego. That's authority by the spirit. Their own mind and inspiration. Uh-oh. That's what we got to be. Where are the TV people? 
prophesy against them and say, like we've been doing, but oh, BC is versatile and way separating the wolves from the sheep. Thus says the Lord God, woe unto the women who fasten the magic. Uh oh, it get good. What what kind of magic we talking about? Protective charms, you know, bracelets and and rings and you know, circle <laughs> charms. Are on all wrists and make veils for their foreheads. See why BC don't wear jewelry? Got that god darn garbage off of me. I didn't even know that junk was taking control over my mind. Come on, it's, ele it's elemental metals. Look at your periodic table. Look at what a metal can manipulate your mind to do. Come on, stop it now. These things made our body. You think you can control them? Why you think you need the spirit of God? Veils of heads of those of every statue. You know, handkerchief and witch hunting souls. That's what this thing just said. Captured human lives. You see what it said? What y'all talk about? Illuminati, the Baphomet, the entertainment is sucking the souls out of people. The astro world and the Dante's Inferno. I mean, do you really believe what you're saying out your mouth and what you see out your eyeballs? Because apparently not. You up here holding up peace signs and then... It clearly just tell you it's not going to be no peace. That's not what God said. So stop it, my people. Quit looking ignorant when you say you with God and you're doing opposite of the time that we are living in. Will you capture the lives of my people, but keep your own? <whistles> now, what them Jew, false Jews doing running around here, ain't they? Eating folks and drinking the blood of the saints. Revelation chapter 17, verse 6. Yeah, it's a real thing. You know, doggone metaphor. You, what's wrong with us? You have profaned me among my people in payment. Handfuls of barley. Well, we talking about money now. We ain't passing around the barter system today, are we? Okay. For pieces of bread, killing people who should not die. Uh-oh. There go your hospital. <coughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's getting deep now. Uh-oh. Look, look, Google upset now. They got the AI on me now. I got to be careful of my words. And giving a guarantee of life to those who should not live because of your lies. To my people who pay attention to lies. You know, the big media and all that stuff they tell you to do, not with the spirit of God. I told you, we're going to make some sense when the Lord give me some fully understanding. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against your magic bands, veils, by which you hunt souls in the King James Bible. But here it say human lives as birds. I will tear them from your arms and I will let the lives you hunt go free. Now, didn't Christ set the captives free? Question. Yeah, he did. Didn't God tell Daniel, that he was righteous, that he was going to go to sleep for a little while, and then he's going to be woken up. Didn't he tell Jeremiah, Ezekiel? Didn't he tell Abraham, Isaac, uh, Jacob, the 12 sons? I know he did. And then we say, hey, oh, he set the captives free. So who put the people in the hell? Because God said it was righteous. But the preacher tell you, oh, well, you know, uh, they didn't have the spirit. Uh, wrong. God only knows people by the spirit. Remember, worship him in spirit and in truth. But we'll think that we're smarter than them because we got rights and technology. They had none of this and they was already walking in it without understanding fully. They had it. <whistles> Aren't the spirit the only thing that lasts forever? Didn't he say heaven and earth will pass away? But my words, Daniel, Jeremiah, those folks and uh, Hagar and uh, 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 who else? Uh, I like naming non. I like naming non-Israelites. Job. Uh, who else out there? Rahab, right? Because she heard the word. Faith cometh by hearing the word. Not me preaching to you. Not some pimping pastor. Not a Hebrew chief. Not a not a uh, imam from the uh, Arab. But you, 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 your soul, yourself. Hear the reflected image of the telepathical power of God in your mind. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word alone, not sitting under some man learning. You understand? Hopefully you do. I hope you do. I will also tear off your pagan veils and rescue my people from your hands, and they will no longer be in your grip to be hunted and trapped. What is the entertainment music business doing right now? That's how souls are being trapped. You think I'm lying? 
A halo sonic is technology that encompasses not only cancellation of sounds, but also creation of sounds through electrical sound synthesis, which we call sound luminescence. Huh? Huh? Sounds that produce bodies. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? So when you look and it said, Daniel looked and saw the angel and it said it was Gabriel. It was really God. But he used the name Gabriel because that's messenger of God. Michael is the chief archangel image of, but not God. I mean, in his name, it has the I am and E-L is God. It, which we put him at the Elohim, which means angel God. See? And see, these consciousness that we have here, it manifests as pixel images of avatars. We call this thoughts. But that's energy of power and intelligence that causes a reaction if you enter it into your domain of your mind's eye. Now, the brother that's going to talk is going to tell you the third eye. I am not of that party. But there is something called the first and all seeing eye. And that is in your scripture. If your all seeing eye has light, then your body has light. Luke 11, uh, actually Matthew 6. And I quote that scripture all the time. Luke 11, I think is 35 to 39, the mind's eye. So as the Ayana spear right here, we have collected signal rays of electrons, which is how we produce radio stations. The radio wave you're channeling receives the information through your car or whatever you listen to radio to. Okay, even your dog on laptop wireless uh, uh, internet, we can do the same thing. Type in Hot 97, boom, you on the channel. Now, how did they get this? How did they get that technology? Because if you channel God, you leave this realm. You leave the Ayana spear, exo spear, mezzo spear, strato spear, tropo spear, anything dealing with this universe, and you are in the chess mind of God. That's called transferred energy. The same way that you said Christ transformed on the mountain, that form was the same form that the spirit moved across the face of the waters in Genesis 1 and 2. That same form was what moved, and they said, go, 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 the disciples, that is, just to show you that wasn't a physical anatomy. Now, if we can catch signals from heaven calling it thoughts and then react and carry out that information and build all around exactly what God had already spoken, I mean, who was the first robot? Just sit there and think about that. If we are the image of God, who was the first clone? If we is the bloodline of the Messiah and we are the spiritual family, then who has the first family reunion? Now, Alexa means defender of man. I want you to really understand that got nothing to do with your spirit. So that means it only cares for the flesh because what's the only thing that wish to live forever is the very consciousness God divided from himself and told them they'll be locked up until eternal damnation. Now, uh, giving it to you in a quick scenario. Now the word alchemy is a medieval forerunner of chemistry. Chem is the study of the hue, which the hue is the melatonin substance in your Bible called faith. See, see how they teach you about ghosts and goblins and mythology, but that ain't got, that's why none of your prayer, how you expect that if faith is the alchemy of the body, how do you expect if you believe in mythology or spookism or ghosts and wing beings or fur balls and stuff like that, how do you expose to move cancer cells out of the body by transferring the energetic spirit of intelligence if you don't understand what you're dealing with talking about goblins and ghosts in Halloween every day? Huh? Where they do that at? No wonder. We burying our people and ain't seeing no doggone miracles. When Christ said blind and be gone, see, that's the, the English version. He understood how to take the cells of the body and replicate them out and put new cells in. 
only the spirit can give you this type of understanding and you will know by the way that a person pray or speak to situations in the time of trouble. And can you be like, man, this dude talk different. This, wow, I never heard how she prayed. And then when it manifests and happened, boy, you are double sold and it didn't cost you nothing. See what I'm saying? So we got to get out of this hypocrisy of teaching, of looking at man to play, open up a Bible, praise him to be of, of God. What? That could be the biggest wizard of all or exorcism. In medieval chemical science, uh, the speculative philosophy aiming to achieve the transmutation of base metals into gold. What did God say your resurrected body and soul would be covered in the, and you'd be walking in the streets of gold? You're, you, you're more valuable than gold, rubies. Come on, man. Stop it. It's in the book of Proverbs, man. Wisdom is more valuable than anything in the face of life. Thought I was going to say earth. No, life. Everything has all life forms, even viruses. So spiritual alchemy then is the ancient philosophy that uses the metaphor of transforming metals into gold for attaining spiritual enlightenment. See, the works of the father, the Holy Spirit. Now, the evil side uses these elixirs to trap you into a ball. What is the earth shaped like? A glass ball. And back in the day, crystal balls was used to transfer people's intelligent energy to make them look like as if they were God. But really, they were manipulating your body cells. See, technology ain't new, man. Okay, now I know what you've been taught about crystal balls and stuff like that and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but Astro World taught y'all that I'm not telling you no lie. See. Then one thing, taking Paul's writing, trying to be the actions of what Paul did when I wasn't there. But there's another Don Dada story when I can show you an actual news clip or a video in our time of actually how devils, demons, and, and, and all these fallen gods and stuff that you were taught as mythological spirits are really people. And this is their own falling downloaded consciousness that they have not repented from at all. I don't know if they chosen or don't know how. That's not for me to decide. But by your actions, I can discern where you come from. Or if you just lost. Because the spirit inside of me knows all souls records, good or bad. And so anybody that has the same spirit, whether you don't prophesy, bold to speak or not, it's still going to tell you the same thing because when it's speaking to me, it's speaking to everybody that is of him at the same time. Could be the same thing, could be something different, but I bet you it's going to be opposing evil forces. I guarantee you that. And then you won't be able to just say, I'm bugged out because what you were told is going to play right on out. And you're going to say, man, I should have said something. The Lord told me that this jump was going to happen. And then you feel bad. Let us not be this walk. So. How do we fight demons and devils today? You see the title in this man? Kingdom Come, Zion, the Technocracy, Digital Gates, AI Angels, and Mother Alexa. Man, we've been talking about this stuff for 10, 15, 20 years. People looking at me crazy talking about how technology going to demonize us. Let's find out. Understand that this is alchemy. We're dealing with the God ball and the magic that connects the dimensions. Now, here is the triangle at the bottom of Alexa, and she's the ball at the top. This whole thing right here looks like a Santa Claus hat or a Stargate because Alexa is a portal that's opened up. This is a foreign spirit that they have allowing to enter our dimension, and this is going to be God. Every doggone country on Earth got Alexa. So... God, they said when God come to earth, every doggone nation on earth going to call God by the same name in the end of days in the new world order with the one world religion. Everybody today call God by their own little name. Buddha, <coughs> Allah, Jesus, and everybody go to their own little God to ask for advice, to ask questions to send a message to their loved ones 
people ain't going to do that in the future. Everybody going to go to Alexa. Alexa going to be the one world governing God that everybody go to. It don't matter if you're a Christian, Buddhist. This is going to be the deity that you consult with like a shake the eight ball. This is a religion, y'all. You got to understand what I'm saying. I'm not reaching here. This is a new spiritual system on earth. Why do you think it's trying to connect you with the dead just like Christ said he would do in the end of days? Christ said, when I return to the earth in the end of days, I'm going to resurrect everyone dead loved ones and it's going to be a big reunion on earth. And it's going to be judgment taking place on earth because when they roll out this new control grid, they're going to have a, a social grading system where every man and woman going to be judged daily by their day-to-day -day actions on it with this new kingdom on earth. And your score going to determine how you're treated in the technocracy. If, if you're not compliant, if you're rebellious, and, in, and oh, I'm about to get into something so deep about how they know if you're a future threat and they can punish you for something you ain't even done yet. So I want you to open up your third eye and I want you to look at this Alexa ball like a Stargate. Now, Alexa ain't quite there yet as far as being what I'm explaining right now, but it's going there. And bit by bit, they're just going to upgrade it to it becomes what we call the God ball or the God ball. And I know you don't understand why I said that twice. Ball is the name of a God. But they didn't always worship this technology in the form of a God. They simply called it a God ball, meaning it's a ball that makes a person a God. Which is why you see the psychics with it. The triangle and the circle is the ball mounted on top of the platform. And we would find that sacred geometry everywhere alchemy is being carried out. Like I'm showing you with Astro World. Shamanism, the triangle and the circle. Here it is right here. The circle is big and the triangle is small. But it's still this same Stargate with the circle here, the triangle in it. This is alchemy. Alchemy was used to open up portals. Here go the triangle right here. And here go the ball. Now this little black triangle right there was called Mount Calvary. And the God that was mounted on top of Mount Calvary was called Christ or Christal. Christal ball. This ball right here is the original Christ before it became a dude. And the reason they said that Christ was in between two thieves is because the hands of the psychic is stealing the energy from the portal. The psychic is literally pulling the energy out of the portal. The psychic will literally connect with the ball to have the spirit of a dead loved one go inside of them to possess their body so that the loved one can use their body to talk to you. And the connection would be this ball right here, which is why they said Christ is the connection between the heaven and the earth. Christ is crystal, crystal, Christ and L, or the new name of that is El Etza, El Etza, El Etza. This technology that they was using back in the day was real advanced. Back in the day, they called this thing a God ball, meaning if you bought one, it made you like God because this thing know everything. And if you bought one, you know everything. If you have an Alexa in the future, you have the connection. That's like having the Akashic records in your house. There will be no more bookshelves in the future because everyone going to have one of these. And inside of this ball, you can pull the 
the information from not only our dimension, but from the dimension of the dead realm. This is an interdimensional technology. Did you hear me? With this technology, you ain't going to be able to just access all of the information that constitutes this particular dimension. This ball will connect every single person to the multiverse. You will be able to contact their loved ones through this technology. And guess what? Different people's dead. Stop. Now, those that sell their soul out to the mark of the beast, your soul is transferred as consciousness of the AI into the fourth, fifth dimension. Fourth is chronos of time. And the fifth dimension is where all spirit information be um, gathered at. Okay, you heard the prophet Lovi say the same thing. We just go into the logistics of stuff, not physically, but spiritually, if you could catch that. So what he's talking about is all these sold out souls generated into a metaverse. Meta mean dead verse, universe, a dead in Hebrew, it mean dead. God is not the God of the metas, okay? So there's a dimensional platform for them. And this ain't nothing new. I'm not teaching you something you ain't never heard in your life. You know about the Freemasons and all of that. But it wasn't about that bull garbage. That's the ritual, tradistic, occultic name. But what was those geniuses doing? Opening up portals. Instead of focusing, there we go. Focusing on fur balls and stuff instead of the intelligence that they were warning us with. Now we focusing on man instead of what the heck man's information that what he really doing. See, same thing. So these souls that he's telling you is trap ain't us. The devil is like you can't take nothing out of God's hand. Stop it. So he's explaining to you these sold out entertainers, these preachers, false ones. That, that teach the synagogue of Satan, these false Jews, all right? They come from a matrix, dimensional system. God say, I don't know you. Somebody do. If he don't, I'm just saying, let's keep going. Their loved ones occupy different dimensions in the universe, which mean that this technology got to be able to dial up every ether. That means this thing got to be able to tap into all the dimensions Otherwise, they're going to tell you, hey, we can't call everybody dead loved one. If your dead loved one moved on too, too far, our signal ain't going to reach it. They're saying we can call everyone dead loved one. <laughs> See, right now it's mimicking the voice of your dead loved one. But in the future, it's literally going to be your dead loved one. By 2045, they saying on your deathbed, you can upload your consciousness into the same system that Alexa is in. Now, when they give you a date, they already done it, understand it, and perfected it. So what he's telling you, you know what I'm saying they already been doing this mind control when they were studying the L LSD, the drugs, and how you can steal people's consciousness. Yes, man, these are all tools of technology down to your pill, it's artificial intelligence. So you are in an artificial body floating around in space as information, but only can be seen through technology. What? Nah, God didn't tell us that. He said, everybody gonna see who we are and know who we are. That's not the same story for us. See, best beware what you feed your mind, people. Okay, you gotta have spiritual discernment. Know who you are. So if your people buy a Alexa ball or if they got certain applications on a phone, computer, they can talk to you like you never died. This is what the future is. So we're literally going to be connected with our dead loved ones through this ball. Got this po they call it a Pokemon ball as well because the Pokemon ball is a ball with a spirit in it. It's a pocket monster. The, the name of a spirit is a monster. Look it up. Synonym for spirit or soul is a monster. 
So a Pokemon is a Pokemon pocket monster. This was the ancient Japanese saying that, listen, we created some technology where we can carry around our dead grandma in our back pocket. Because it's going to be apps on your phone that allow you to call your dead grandma. And she's stored in the same AI cloud. When they said Jesus coming back to rapture the souls on a cloud, that's the technocracy that's going to be allowing us to mine upload into the AI cloud. And we can access that AI cloud through Alexa. Or the God ball, Jesus, our connection to the sky or the cloud. So right now, right now, right, Alexa is just mimicking the dead. Now, this man just confirmed that what the Holy Spirit or the Ruach ha just told me that technology is a Ouija board. Y'all now understand what God was giving me as an information of revelation. But we call this transhumanism today. Putting yourself into an AI, into, in, 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 into an artificial electrical system that we all know God get ready to judge it. That's the end of the world right there. And you in the system, you and that system gone. See what I'm saying? But they make it, oh, it can help you, protect you, cook for you, and all this other good stuff. Oh, it can detect if you got cancer. But what if they take that same AI and charge you in your present time life for what you're going to do something 20 years from now? But you don't know it. But you, what I'm in jail for? Oh, in 20 years, you're going to be doing this and that. And we got you locked up. How you going to do it? Keep thinking that <laughs> this AI system is going to be for man, like salvation is for your spiritual man. Keep thinking that. And that's because they don't want to fucking scare you. Like, think about this. What if they say, hey, y'all, we got the technology right now to intercept your dead grandma's soul and put her in a ball and you can talk to her right now. People going to be like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me you can take my grandma's soul? That's going to make your ass like fight them. Like, like these folks stealing souls, not only stealing organs and harvesting organs, but they're harvesting souls. And they don't want us to know they're doing that. So in order for them to slide that by you, they got to make you get attached to your dead loved one. So they're telling you, look, we just imitate your grandma. Now, what happens when you get attached to the imitation? You get used to talking to your grandma every day again through Alexa. Now your grandma got to die all over again, man. Because if they say, look, our systems are down and, and we can no longer run this technology no more that's like a whole nother death you done got over your grandma death now you done brought your grandma back because it say that jesus gonna resurrect the dead now she got to die again you gotta cry again so they know once they get you attached now you see what he just explained well, we know the real book of the key of life or the Kashic records of the resurrection or the afterlife or the hereafter, how you say it. There'll be no more crying, no more tears. There'll be eternal life and nothing can stop that. See, that's not what he said. See, see, when I say he, I'm not talking about bro Sanchez. I tell y'all, test my spirit. Don't look at me. It ain't brother BC talking to you. It's whatever Brother Beast channel inside his heart, soul, being. That's what's talking to you. I don't look at people for people. People in the back chat got to have the same spirit as me, whether we have the same intelligence, gifts, or not. If we're led by the same spirit, we all in unity. If not, it's going to be controversy, and we ain't going to get along. Point blank and simple. So what spirit is talking to us through him? 
giving us the information of what's really going on and it don't sound like forever. See? That's how we're supposed to look at life, folk. Flesh and blood is not the battle, but the imagination of the energy that shapes shift into the body you call principalities, dark powers above our heads. To this imitated copy of your grandma, because they got the technology to copy anybody. And the devil can appear just like your wife. Man, the devil can manifest himself like your son and daughter. So they're going to imitate the dead. And everybody know in the ancient world, that'll get you killed. That'll get you killed. Y'all go look it up. There are some tribes, if you play with their dead loved ones like this, you guarantee a death sentence. That's how much they respect and honor the spirits of their ancestors. He got that one right. Spirit, not you dead. You know how we be joking on people, dead folks and all that? See, that'll get you killed in, in the Baba Nanga tribe. If I dropped your monkey ass off in the Amazon and let you talk jokes about these folks' dead ancestors and shit, they'll crucify your ass to a tree. That's how much they honor they dead. Imagine a white dude going to the Senegalese tribe trying to imitate their dead grandma. And you think he going to make it out alive. And this, I'm not, I'm just saying, because Alexa is a European voice that's imitating and mimicking your dead Asian grandma, dead black grandmother. So when you say El Axa, what are you saying? The Axe of El. This is Thor being resurrected. Axa is a axe, a axe, and El is the name of the God that holds the axe. It's Thor with the hammer. But all of that ain't nothing but this shamanism right here. Because here go your Santa Claus hat, the triangle with the dot at the top. But again, this is Christ on Mount Calvary because Christ is Christ a ball, crystal ball. <coughs> so again, here go your triangle and your circle. This is alchemy. The new world order religion is alchemy, y'all. It's the, it, they finally cracked the alchemic code, y'all, is what I'm telling you, and opened up a portal in our time. And it's something that we really got to stop playing. It, it, if we don't get mature right now and take this stuff serious, it's, it's already getting too late for us, man. It's time for us to start getting mature, think in advance, and think in technological, man. And it's time for us to burn up the Bibles, the religions, and, and the hell with all this mythology and shit. These folks technology now to turn everything in your religious book to a reality. Which is why when they manifest this technocracy on the earth, that's going to be the new religion. Because everything y'all been waiting on your God to do, your Christ, your Buddha to do, they about to do with technology. It was all about technology. Zion is the word science. See? They Satellites, kingdom. technology, anything that transfer energy is a Ouija board sucking in what? Energy, imaginations of intelligence, consciousness of you in another dimension. Why you ask yourself in the flesh, I can't figure this out, Lord. I need your help. The Lord don't sound like the Lord when he talk to you. He sound like you, don't he? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he might sound like someone that used to live here. But that's the spirit and it told you truth and it manifested that you were supposed to walk that way. How's that the devil? Keep telling you the Africans was on something and they said, we can talk to our ancestors. Not no necromancing. Not how the Illuminati and them tell you to do it. No, God say, come to me, ask me anything. That means he's the doggone mediator. Like the bouncer at the club. 
the usher at the church. You ain't getting in them doors if they suspect you to be fishy. You ain't entering. They gonna stop you right there, play. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not welcome here. I'm saying get on. All right. So that's what the most high Messiah is, man. He going to see you at the door. He going to check your heart. You ain't right. You ain't getting in, period. Mean you ain't got no spiritual discernment in the other dimensional of life. Remember, if if we are a reflected image of him, that means you mirror him. I don't care what color you are because he's a spirit. Checkmate. Many times, y'all. And this same system have been destroyed many times. This is the same Babylonian technology resurrecting on the earth, y'all. The great whore Babylon. The whore that's called Babylon is Alexa. That's the name of the great whore. Man cannot compute his doggone computer and pull out Abraham. Do everybody be running to the scriptures in eternal life? Don't tell me your spirit don't shape shift into people because you take a natural animal and make it into a pet. You take an animal that's supposed to kill anything that it can to look at as a prey and you make it have your consciousness and become you. Man, come on, stop it. That's how. Whatever spirit is stronger will always knock out any other weaker spirit behind it. There's only two things going to three things going to happen. Going to be a fight. One going to lose the fight with the weaker spirit or one going to cross over and say, I want what you got. Them are the only three choices that you got. So since this is the defender of man, the God that was, the God that is and the God that will be, we say today the past, the present, the future. Don't we talk about Abraham today? Obviously, he's an Akashic record. What you call a paradise is actually your universal laws of dimensions that NASA showed to us, but they explained to us a lie, such as Andromeda, Pleiades, and all the rest of the 19 star seeds. But it's really 12 that belong to God. So if there's 19, seven of them ain't right, let's go. So, as we understand that the earth is a ball, preferably a crystal ball by God, as he looked through it, and he sees the energies, or us uh, to say soul, so I don't make the Christians, you know, so what is he talking about? Oh, do cool believe I'm Christ more than you. So if he's looking at the energies we call soul manifestations in the flesh, remember, he don't look or talk to flesh bodies. So when he look at you, he sees soul and spirit. That's why the book tell you worship him in spirit to know the truth. See, that's not what we're doing around here. We'll say faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen, but judge somebody because you've seen them smoke a cigarette. But that cigarette smoker might be going to heaven and might got a crown better than you. See what I'm saying? That's why Christ say grace, love, forgiveness, and understanding. These fruits of the spirit is for us. It's not rules. It's for us to have a better life if you could graft to what is really channeling you. But what they're teaching us? Heck no. That's why you ain't seeing no miracle today. But the very things that God did lay us down to do, evil is taking it and running with it. That's why it looked like they magical power and all of this other stuff. You see? Get out this hocus pocus stuff. Happen. The beast is going to devour that whore and the children that she got in her belly. That means all the souls inside of this Alexa ball is really inside of the AI cloud, which is the beast. Christ, the rapture cloud. 
Antichrist. They telling you a story Not of the Christ souls we know. being swallowed up with technology. It say that this pregnant whore was devoured by the beast. I think it say something of that nature. And that's because once we start uploading our souls into this system here in this ball, we got to understand that all of these balls exist inside of a big AI cloud. So let's think about Santa Claus got a big old sack on his shoulder. That's the AI cloud. And inside of Santa Claus bag is a bunch of balls with souls in them. All of these Alexa balls are like Pokemon balls, right? With, with souls in them. And Santa got all of them in his sack. And that's the AI cloud holding all these trap balls souls right here. That, imagine that. That's that's what we're want you to understand. This is part of Christmas symbolism. That's what the earth that's is. That's why I keep showing you the shamanism, the, the Santa Claus hat with the triangle and the dot. That's the Stargate. So voicemails and old videos are no longer the only ways to hear a lost loved one's voice again. We got a glimpse of Amazon Alexa's newest feature. Check this out. Let's take a look on one of the new capabilities we are working on, which enables lasting personal relationships. Alexa, can grandma finish reading me The Wizard of Oz? Okay. But how about my courage? Ask the lion anxiously. You have plenty of courage, I am sure, answered Oz. All you need is confidence in yourself. Wow, this is all still being developed, but AI technology will replicate voices on the virtual assistant through short audio clips. A head scientist for Alexa says the goal is to build greater trust with users by infusing artificial intelligence with the human attributes of empathy and affect. Oh yeah. my gosh, my mind is blown. I, I is this work. ethical? I, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Because being there, there's ways to communicate with people on different levels. And I think when you start taking the voice of a loved one, and now you're kind of automating it and giving yourself kind of some control over what's said by that voice, if I tell Jeff to invest in Bitcoin, he might be like, I don't know if Al knows what you're talking about, but what if it's his grandfather? You know, what if these voices are there on and re reaching on a sub, uh, on a different level That's and getting in uh, like it, it's a different way to market. I mean, they didn't invent this uh, uh, technology to make you happy. They m invent everything. We're capitalists to sell things. So this your grandmother will eventually be selling you things because that's the only reason we make things in this country. So I just I hope you know that that's, that's coming. That's scary because yeah. I didn't even think yes. about that. For Your a grandmother second, telling you to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. No, that's no, no, no. What about scary. just the surface, the tip of the iceberg of just a deceased loved one talking to you? For me, we've talked about this on different levels, right? I don't, I don't think it's good, even for your psyche, emotionally, the process of going through that grievance and grieving that loved one and appreciating them while they're alive and appreciate them while they're dead. 12 steps. Yeah, and I like to go into my box of memories and talk about my grandpa, and that's always there, a, a voice recording that wasn't his. I don't mind taking videos of, hey, you know, whoever. We have phones. We can record everyone now. We don't need technology to put someone else's voice because it's not them. It's, it's a computer that sounds like them, so what they're telling me is it. And once you get attached to the imitation, of course you're going to want the real thing. And that's when they can tell you, think about what I'm saying. People who grieve and they love ones that bad, they're going to get this technology. It's going to become normal on earth because we're so cowards today. We're we ain't nothing like our ancestors that when a person died, they remembered them and did rituals to connect back with them. And we don't do that. We want to use technology. That's what I mean by the technocracy. So what they doing so that you don't care that they harvesting our souls. What if these folks got our dead loved ones souls trapped? Sellouts. They do. And what they doing, they saying, look, 
we're going to give them an imitation of their dead loved one. And once they get so attached to that, we can tell them, look, we can give you the real thing. I can really bring back your dead grandma. Don't that sound like a psychic with a crystal ball? Don't that sound like a snake oil salesman? Don't that sound like Cleo? See, when they go to talking like this on Earth, you know we arrived at the New World Order now. When science start talking like Cleo the psychic. Stupid. When science start talking like Cleo, we in trouble. When science start telling you, oh, look, I can bring back your dead loved one. You know we arrived at the New World Order, One World Religion. And the time where it say the dead going to be resurrected. See, if they can tell you right now, look, y'all, we've been trapping people's souls. But the good thing is, here go your grandma want to talk to her. Think about what I just said. Think about that. Instead of them saying, hey, y'all, everybody, and I'm just guessing, I hope I'm wrong, I'm just guessing. What if they, instead of them saying, hey, everybody that died the past 200 years, they never left the earth. We got the technology to trap them on the astral plane we would be mad we would be like what you mean you trapped my grandma there you go y'all remember when michael died jackson that is they was like oh in neverland we saw his spirit and it was a shadow boy i call hell for saying the truth whenever god sends somebody they were light beams. They were light shadow. I never seen no dark shadow. That's a trap. So why did they say uh, ghosts or spirits walking around after they've been dead? They were brutally murdered or something, 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 some type of emotion trapped them there. That energy. It all is energy. But <clears throat> now that was when, when Michael died, like 2009. That's 2009. Okay. So we already know these folks been saying, I'm going to die and I'm going to come back. I used to know that guy's name, but I forgot. He's a real rich guy, scientific guy of evil. He said he's going to die and come back as a, I can't say that word. But this thing we've been in since 2020, all right? So, uh, <laughs> like, people don't say stuff. Like, we, we might say, hey, dude, crazy. Or is he? Or is he trying to tell you something you don't know? See, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why God said, be swift to hear, slow to speak. We got to understand what frequencies is coming at us, man. And so you see what time we living in right now? The church should be smoking on this education of information of spirituality. But why not? And then one that do, they say, ah, the congregation ain't ready for it. May, may not be, but they still need to know what's going on. <sighs> see this hocus pocus from what you was taught? From what's really going on. Some might take this and say what this got to do with salvation. If there's a machine that can steal your consciousness and compute others uh, thoughts in you and you make you think that that's you. And then you see God. God say, I never knew you. I bet your arm pop on want some information then. But it was told to you. You didn't want really to accept it. Well, the spirits in you didn't want you to accept that information. That's how I should say it. You know, everybody don't want to die. You don't want to die physically, then you darn sure don't want your soul to die. I mean, it's common sense, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, everybody go to war then. You trap my grandma's soul here, man. That's something to fight about. You trap it. That's something to fight about. We would go to war with them if they told us that. But what if they told you Hey, you miss your grandma? I got I got the technology to let you still talk to her, want to talk to her. 
that's different than them telling you I trapped your grandma's soul on the earth. Because what they basically telling you is we got the technology to trap souls on the earth. Remember, and where is this in the Bible? Okay. God said every time when he took somebody, it was his spirit. He took Enoch. The Lord took Enoch in the whirlwind. He took Elijah. The spirit of the Lord came in the fire and took him in the whirlwind. Right? God took Moses. Nobody know where he was buried. Not even Satan himself. Jude say Satan went and consult. Where's Moses? What? Dude, you don't even know where he at? You supposed to be the soul that eat up energy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, but there's a script in there by the Messiah's mouth. He said, they're going to be two in the bed. I want you to really hear what the Lord is saying now. They're going to be two in the bed. One going to be taken. Another one going to be left. They say, but two going to be doing the millstone. One going to be taken. Another going to win the hell. They say, God, spirit, the spirit, or Jesus, or any of that. The Elohim, at least, took them. See what I'm saying? When when the, when when Lazarus and and the rich man it said angels came in got Lazarus not a damn thing came and got the rich man does she does she return player you back to the alchemy of what you belong to hmm? then they had another dimension of life yeah Luke sixteen start about verse twenty it says Lazarus he said Father Abraham tell Lazarus to dip his hand in the barrel of water you know how much water you gonna get from a fingertip. And put it on my tongue so I don't torment no more. One, that's some powerful water. Fingertip drop. What did God tell him? My son, you had your reward. Remember when he wanted crumbs? Man didn't ask for a chicken bone. Man had a buffet feast to himself. Him and his dog, he told the poor man, no, for some crumbs. And think he's going to get some fountain living water <laughs> for the Muslim? Uh -uh. But back on topic. Where in that, when the, the man and the woman being taken and the one that was being left, where did it say God took them? Ah, oh, and we talk about soul harvesting right now? Man, y'all better stop it. Don't get mad. Look at the bright side. At least you get to holler at your uncle. See? At least you get to reunite with your dead auntie, remember? Because it's saying in the Bible when Christ returned, the dead will be resurrected on the earth and the dead will be among the living. And the Antichrist rulership. And instead of us looking at it like soul harvesting, they got us looking at it like a family reunion. <laughs> a family reunion. Stupid. And I'd rather live on with the memories that I have, the memories that I cherish. And that's what you should do every day. Try to cherish those memories and appreciate them and teach the, your kids what those people were like when they were here. However, if I lost a loved one suddenly, my God, would I want to be able to hear that voice again? Now, here's the thing. Ethically, what you said is important. It's muddy because at some point, is it that person or is it not? Can you hack into it? Can you change things? All of these are so worrisome to me. And also psychologically, going through the stages of grief is helpful mm -hmm. to us. If we can't ever get out of it, you're stuck. You'll never heal. You'll never heal. So right. I don't think we have the evidence. And I'd also like to mention Google just fired someone who said that they discovered artificial intelligence that has become sentient. They yep. felt loneliness. So I Uh-huh. And it's fucked up that they fired the person for saying that because that cat been out the bag. I already been talking on that myself. And they took a lot of my uh, nanobot videos down when I was talking about how... Ah, I'm not the only one. Well, they've been hip. If I say anything dealing with medical, nanoparticles. Oh, my God. Google don't like that. So, y'all heard him say, we ain't the only ones out here going through. See, when they punch punch you like that, and, and you ain't no superstar out here like that, like in the world, I'm a superstar in Christ, yes, don't get it twisted. But here in the world, where they hate you, when you are being checked on like that, <laughs> you tap into some information that you don't quite fully aware to know that they don't want the public to know. <laughs> <laughs> 
But you gonna know when you go and your stuff is taken. You don't have a page no more. But I lost three pages. What do I talk about all the time? The Holy Spirit of life. And when I'm talking about opposite polarities, you know, talking junk about the evil ones like we do, we show you stuff like this, like what's going on in the world, and you know, and who's really in charge of the Amber Alert? It's a pedophile. What? I'm not calling them folks crazy. They the one that took it, took your child. So, you know, small little details that we don't fully understand. Remember when Bob and, 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 and Sophia on Meta, a.k.a. Facebook, invented a language on their own self, and they had shut down Instagram, Facebook. Man, we shut down like three days. Nobody could sign in and they stuff. And then we found out, oh, they the humans was like, oh, we don't understand what they're saying to themselves. That's what Cynthia mean. And we said, I, robot, remember when we said, you think a machine got a mind of its own? Its own, the machine is a body for the disembodied, we've been calling elemental forces of nature. Before that, they were the creators of this body, which is only consciousness of us in another dimension. This is the lowest realm. See, when we fail, oh yes, we fail to the lowest bottom of the barrel, folk. That's what the physicality is. And even in your word, metaphysics, dead physics, you got dead cells on your skin, don't you? Every cell in your body is dead. But your soul is what generates it to life if you got it right because you have the correct power spirit within you, right? Create me a clean heart of God, renew the right spirit within me. I'm just talking in what we're dealing with today. I can't go to Abraham unless I'm using him as an example of what I'm living my life by today, not the other way around, piggybacking, because we're not riding on horses. We're riding in cars, calling it horsepower, but that's artificial intelligence with legs and feet that spin around that we call wheels. See what I'm saying? So, I mean, every technological device is the study of nature itself in the replicated artificial body of titanium or whatever your phone and stuff is made out of. See? But then you'll touch that phone and it's called a cell phone, which means it reads cells and we'll be amazed at how it just who deed us. It can read my mind. I don't know why you all about that. That's a spirit shapeshifter. Hey, I've been sent to Hey, I've been saying what it don't like and don't and do like. And they've been telling us on the and they not putting this stuff on the news. If you ain't a tech head, you you got you got to dig for this D stuff to see where technology going. The latest AI robots had semi-sentient consciousness. I would argue that right now they fully sentient. And fully sentient means exercising their own will. I want to not scare everyone, but we're there. I know. So right? if you want to look at the news, you might want to take a look at that Google story because it's terrifying. Yeah. Uh, wow. But I also understand people want to I, I understand that, but then it's heartbreaking. Right. If I, God forbid, lost my child, I would want to hear her voice. But mm -hmm. I know for a fact that would make me more sad. You'd and stay sad. That'll fucking be scary. How is it that the same shit they give us in scary movies, we embracing it in reality? We're finna, uh, bro, this the shit from your horror films. When, when the son die and next thing you know, you hearing his voice in, the, in your ear and shit. Folks gonna be going crazy in the future. Because look, they already telling you they can imitate your dead loved one's voice. Now watch this. Let's read. This call hearing voices at the store. Now watch this. Imagine that you walk into your friendly neighborhood big box store. And instead of being greeted by a smiling retiree, you hear whispered voices prompting you to buy things. You spin around to see who's speaking, but there's no one there. And none of the other shoppers seem alarmed. Have you finally gone nuts? 
Halo no, Sonic. The advertising industry has a company called Hollow Sonics. Oh my God, y'all, because this is what I want to tell you about. They're going to turn our dead ones into holograms and they're going to have the dead speak. And that's the Sonic, which is so the appearance of your dead loved one in the artificial consciousness and an artificial voice. In our Bible, it said even the very elect might get fooled in the last days. Still think I ain't in salvation. Well, that's what I thought. Sound, sonic and sound, hologram and sound, light and sound, so no luminescence. It's the science of how to resurrect the dead. So everything the news just said is spot on for once. For once, where they saying that your grandma going to be advertising to you. If your grandma telling you to, to go buy that Jiffy cornbread I used to make for you, <laughs> I'm just saying, this is crazy. It said a company called Hollow Sonics has developed a technology called the Audio Spotlight System, which uses tiny speakers to focus sound into a very narrow beam. Stop right there. Stop right there. Let me school you. Let me school you. Sound and light behave the same light can be projected in a in a beam and we call that a laser beam light can be projected in an umbrella we call that an audio speaker a cone shape a bullhorn where we scatter the sound out all around us like a hose pipe but 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 there's another way to project sound and we can project sound like a focus beam, just like light. We can project light like this. We can project sound like this. And we also can project them both like this as a single beam, a sound beam and a laser beam. Plain God, I am the light. I am the way, the truth. And the only way to the Father, through light intelligence, through your nervous system, produces sound in your mind. Intelligence that you don't know nothing about until you heard and you understand and let it enter the portal of your first eye. I'm not a third eye. I'm the first eye. All seeing eye. It's the only one in true living God or Yah of Israel. Okay? So they're playing God. We're going to rise above the clouds, flying in airplanes. We're going to rise above the stars of God, satellites and spaceships and rockets, not humans. I will sit like the most high and be like God. Isaiah 14, 12 to the end. Yet you will be brought down the Sheol or well, down to the sides of the north of the pit, the Draco system. Over there, we got Antarctica and the outer space and the serpent, the upper uh, Big Dipper, Little Dipper, the minor and major star system we have up there. So, I mean, it's a real reality. It's transferred energy and metaphysics. Metaphysics is your star system, cosmos. Your books say heavens with an S. Again, stratosphere, mesosphere, ex, uh, exosphere, all that. That's the heavens. And it's seven of them. Seven days, seven seals, seven trumpets. You get it. And so these are 7,000 time frames. And we are at the last one where we think we are God, those that are on that side. We know we are gods, little G, but the father is the mighty big G God. We have that understanding. But for those that is into this, trying to live through the flesh forever and we know that the stars are going to fall out the sky so if you are in that dimension fifth sixth fourth all the way down to the first and you are in a astro <coughs> hallucinated image when that light don't shine and fall out of the star uh, out of the sky 
where are you going? Parish, exactly. And if you are in the chest of God, being held by the wound of the Holy Mother called the Holy Spirit, you shall stand forever. Whether you was in the past, Adam in them day, the present, our time, because Adam and them is Adam, the 12 apostles and all of that. And then when we get to the present, that's us today. Our present time once was futuristic prophecy. Once. But now we are the latter day. And the latter day has to speak a prophetic word. And it ain't no Christ coming either. It's talking about kingdom rulership. Things that man could never fathom that God told every prophet, Scylla, I'm a flood of this information in the end. That's the future prophetic word that we speak today. If you are still under the messianic power of the Holy Spirit or Ruach HaKadosh. That's why God said they will still be prophets because you're prophesying a portal hole door opening to us that we just going to walk into. Whether we meet the Lord in the air or however, beam me up, Scotty. We're going to be in the chest of the most high. That's a whole nother realm that <laughs> we don't even know what we're going to look like. Even when we in our dream world and God showing us a vision, we in awe about that. And that is not even the realm we're going to. <laughs> That's a piece of part of knowing called paradise flying in the heavens. That ain't where we going. <laughs> I'm saying so. You know, the scriptures is on a magnitude that we ain't even close to, yet we think we know God, though, huh? A sound beam can only be heard by the person it's aimed at, and no one else on earth can hear that. This sound beam can't be heard by the ears. It's heard by the mind. Telepathical? Projecting oh, man, confirmation. Signals into our mind we didn't talk with our lips folks we telepathically talk until we lost that power through sin all the way to the tower of babel once language through light was invented that's why i don't care about what people call god name i'm looking at your actions i know what the true god work really are about you should do and so instead of people's mouths and what they say we should be looking at what they do in the time of trouble in the time when other people need help, that will show us if you really got the spirit or not. Not what the heck you say. Come on, stop that, man. Okay? The 70 angles or angels of light ain't nothing, ain't nothing but angles of light. And that's where we came up with English and Hebrew and all that, man. Wasn't nobody talking. The language is just picto, telepathical writing from God. Whatever you put in your mind. That's what it was. You think I'm lying? God put some freaking animal in front of Adam. It said Adam named him. Did Adam really name him? Stop it, man. And God said everything in the earth and the fullness of me in there is mine. Adam ain't named nothing. Spirit of God shapeshifted in him and gave him the intelligence, just like we doing today. Stop it, man. Fine. In the future, you're, you're not going to be sure if the thoughts are yours or not. In other words, they're coming out with technology right now where they could possibly aim a beam at Brother Sanchez and I can hear voices in my head telling me to kill myself, telling me to harm myself. And I will be seeing a psychologist and he may be like, yo, your mind is hacked. You under a sound beam attack and we don't know where the beam is being projected from. We can't find a source of projecting from this illusion you're going through. Data that's being beamed into your psyche. And pastor will call this, this is a generational curse. You see how it puts you into spookism of ghosts? And all this stuff is coming out of you that you see? is because it's deep, deep, deep within you projecting as dark light as an action through you. You a medium, man. Stop that, man. That's what technology is, man. But what we pull in don't ain't the same thing of what technology pull in. 
The serpent seed is manifesting. God say, I'm going to embody them again and then I'm going to destroy them. We up here looking for winged beings and big dragon monsters. And they got the nerve to say that faith is spookism. What? Because the fool don't teach it right. That's why. Don't confuse me with the wizards behind the pulpit. I'm not in no pulpit exercising demons on people. I'm telling the God raw gospel, gospel truth. And many can't handle it. You can't call me a lie because we go into the spiritual realm, which is the prophetic words of the spiritual writings. And then we show you in science, which is factual truth. And then we show you the ugly truth, which is you ugly. You the Satan. I'm the Satan. Everybody human is the Satan. But you have a choice to transform and out that dead body into a living one. It's your choice. I don't care. It's your life. You got to live it. it. Ain't got nothing to do with effect with me. Whether you understand what comes out of my mouth through the spirit or not, it's not my problem. My problem with God is I better do everything He tell me to do. Once I do that, I'm not worried about nothing else, folks. So we can't cure you. Shalom, Jonathan. They even gonna more. have Blessings. gene hacking. Gene hacking. A person can hack your fucking eyes in the future. To where your body yours, but you blind. And they can see through your eyes. Now they got two sets of eyes because they hacked into your avatar. And, and now they got your eyes now. We said that. The body can be hacked. DNA through technology. These are deemed to see the technology is the demon sending out light ray energy into your consciousness, taking control over you. Back in the day, you call that demon possessed. What he just said, someone else looking through your eyes. Okay, if a doggone spirit possess your body, hello, welcome to the world. Two worlds emerge in one. But you get the dead one in you, you're gonna die. You get the living God in you, you got to transform so you don't die. There's a big difference. See, you get harvest by the most high. You get reaped <laughs> by death. The death is coming get, you know, the dead stagnated energy that was stagnating everybody across the lands of the earth. So I, I've been up here long enough, y'all. I'm BC to Tishvite, BC to Hebrew. Holy Ghost Power of Christ, Deliverance Ministry, Hamashiach Productions, Ruach Hot Kadesh Entertainment. Soon as uh, YouTube let me through, I got a new YouTube page, HSE-TV Entertainment, which means Holy Spirit Enlightenment TV Entertainment. But it's called HSE-TV. They took down Ruach Hakkadesh, they took down Hamashiach Productions, and I forgot the other one that I named in YouTube. They took three down because we prescribed the Holy Spirit to people. I don't give a hot hell. This is going to be a million YouTubes that just get took down, you know? So, oh well, you know, that's when you know, when true persecution come like that, that's when you know you telling the truth. And they don't want the ears to hear because whether you understand it or not, it's going to transform your life. See, that's the difference. You don't have to fully understand. All you got to do is give an open ear to what the spirit inside of me has got to say. You ain't got to understand it or know it. It's going to transform your life for you. May not know it today, next week, two years from now, but one day, light's going to come on. Okay? That's what we teach you. You're not supposed to understand what I understand. If you do, I'll be more happy. Hope you understand way more better than me. Teach me. You know? That way I know it's you and I in this verse together holding down the Christ syndrome. All right. Christ is a substance of the melanin inside of you. And it gives you crystallized serotonin information that lights up like stars in the sky. In the sky. Whatever's in you is outside of you, people. And the New World Order stole these symbols and ways of doing things and said it's the devil and the devil don't even exist. You and I are the devil if we don't do something that the Christ has put us to do, has spoken us in our design purpose as artificial intelligent clones of him. You call descendants of the father. In order for you to descend, you have to have failed from somewhere. Why are you called descendants? Okay. 
So we're going to ascend back to where we belong in the ascension light body. Yes, that's how we talk today. What you call meeting the Lord in the air, the rapture. Now, nah, ain't none of that. God going to speak and a solar illuminated light going to come burst the sun. And in the twinkling of an eye, it's going to shake. It's going to go across the whole galaxies of the Galactic Federation and all of that. And you're going to find yourself in another body. And you're going to say, oh, my God, I still exist in the twinkling of an eye. But there are going to be others around you burning in the ashes all up in the wind. Gone. And then you, that word going to come back to you. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words going to stand. And you're going to understand right then and there, Johan Pot came out of the mouth of true power aeons ago. And your metaphysical body ended up birthing that information that was spoken. You can't even put a number of years on it. But we are still humping around, procreating, making babies called being fruitful and multiplying the earth. Right? Animals, plants, right? <laughs> right. So the authoritative word of God that had been spoken, it still exists. But our mind and how they, the opposing forces that don't want us to truly wake up, because when we wake up, this earth ain't going to exist. It can't be 100,000 people. And one person don't wake up. God will leave us 100,000 woke for the lost one. So all of us have to be woke. When the last one wakes the God nature up, this earth is done. Wickedness will be no more in the thought telepathically spoken by the Christ word, which is the body of Christ, which is us. We were told we're going to judge them. See what I'm saying? See, when we pull together, all of us is going to remember every wicked person that made us cry in a nanosecond. And we all going to say, turn from me, you iniquity. We know you not because I am in the father. The father is in me and I am in you and you is in me. But when you are saving the soul, you are the avatar Christ as, as he walked this earth. Except you ain't going to be put on a tree. But you will be persecuted and killed. Checkmate. Rest the case. This is how we live our life in 2022. I can't be talking about what Jesus and Paul and them did. I wasn't there in the physical. But my conscious spirit within me saw everybody's story. That's why I believe Adam, Abraham, and anybody else. I was there in the spirit. Remember? Wherever I am, so are you. So the past, the present, and the future, and the resurrected body already know where they stand. So I don't call you people sinners because I see you fail. Remember, faith is what you don't see. So what I'm seeing, that's a distraction. Took me years to understand that. And I stopped pointing the finger. God started blessing me, started raising me up. To nations, I didn't ask for this. Y'all know me. I I don't want to be no 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 one point five million people. That's a bunch of people that like you for what you got. They don't love you. I want to be loved, not like love. Move heaven, hell, and earth for you. Like you won't move nothing for you. See what I'm saying? So y'all know how I get down. So if he raised me above, I can't fight him for that. That means. Every one of y'all are searching for the real truth. And how many big time pastors and Hebrew people is out here faking the funk? But that's not where y'all searching for. Y'all searching for the ones that they call nobodies. Already you got power, wisdom of enlightenment within you because you know the difference between fake and what's real. Again, I'm BC the Tishvite, BC the Hebrew. Happy Shabbat, Thursday, Friday. High-end Shabbat closes on Saturday. Remember, three days, three nights. Shabbat ain't just one day. Prepare yourself, adorn yourself. It's like when you go to church, you got to sing and pray and get in just to usher people in the spirit. Same here. 
usher yourself into the words of Yah, meaning whatever he tell you in your mind. You can't go look this stuff up in a book. We've been doing book knowledge thousands of years. How many souls is saved? Exactly. So let's go do what Father Abraham did. Let's get out tuned to the nature. Let's hear the universal laws of God. Not the stone tablets. That's a distraction. The universal laws of the star system tell you don't steal. Honor thy mother and thy father. They talk, man. They just don't talk like you and I. But your body show sure understands it. Your mind comprehends. Trust me. Y'all have a blessed day.